Uh. Just love and affection, no pressure or pain. Show you the real, but that's if you can hang. You're so sweet, so cute, so fresh, so clean. Your attitude is the way you do your thing. While we do it. That's like the perfect Easter flower right there. The perfect Easter flower. Oh my gosh, y'all. Oh wait. Now these are more red orangey. That's pretty. Those are really pretty. So I'm just gonna show you guys. I just arrived to Al Azhar Park. And as soon as I walked through the freaking gate, I mean, I was like, whoa. Maybe, I think this might be like, I'm trying to think what I could compare this to because this is more than just a park. This is like, I might have seen something like it before in the States. So beautiful. I was gonna go to the Al Azhar Mosque after this. And then um, that's gonna be my last mosque. I've basically finished my mosque seeing for the day. Um, for all the days, honestly, y'all. So these, the, ah, what is that? Oh, not a sunflower seed. I got shit on like, right, one right here. I think it's one right here, low key. They're all down my arm right now. I'm trying to not think about it so I don't scratch it. Hello, can I help you with something? Oh, for real. Well, say hello. Say hello. Can I go say hello? He said hello. That's another thing. Like, if it's one thing, I, I started thinking about this. I started thinking. Can I talk? Not only here, but also in Colombia. Like, the stray animal population of the situation, like, they're all over the place like in the states or at least from my experience growing up in the states i don't know everybody's experience is different i guess if you see just a stray dog or a stray cat mostly it's the idea like you're probably in the hood or something like that but it's the idea that it belongs to somebody it's just out the way you see stray dogs stray cats just stray animals in general just out and about at least um in the places i've been in colombia and now here in cairo and honestly like even in mexico and even costa rica too honestly you see them everywhere and they just be big chilling like and it's different you know when it's a stray cat or a dog in the states because you step you start walking towards it and it's bolting it's out of your way it's not gonna be in your face like it's not gonna bother you it's gonna run away. It's not gonna let you touch it. It's not gonna let you do anything. He posted. She. It. It's posted. <laughs> and you see how it just literally walked up. It walked up. If this was the States and this happened, you'd think that this is a cat that belongs to somebody. That's just one thing that I've noticed in my travels. It's like the fact that stray animals just be out, they, it, you know coexist with the rest of the city you know they're a part of the city like it's just so cool like how you see you'll see dogs and cats and stuff they'll just be rested up like just be sitting relaxing in the shade somewhere like that to me is just so cool i don't know you don't see that a lot in the states and then it made me think about how like well why don't we see that a lot in the states why is it that like why aren't our stray animals like this you know what I mean like why aren't they like this and then I started thinking about it. I was like probably because they don't play that shit in America stray animals is almost like a sign of I guess I don't know poverty like I don't know stray animals in the US is almost seen to have a bunch of stray animals just around lounging just living off of the world for free like the US ain't gonna let that shit fly 
So yeah, I'm supposed to go to the Al Azhar Mosque, but honestly, I'm just gonna chill here and when I feel like leaving, I'm going to leave and I'm gonna walk to this mosque because I have to pass it anyway to get to my last destination for the day, which is supposed to be Khan El Khalik. It's basically the like Egyptian store marketplace type place. I would like to go to this mosque, but I think it closes at four and it's like 3.30 right now probably. I got this like piece of a bag as my earring back because I think my earring back might have fallen out when I was in the shower and then went down the drain. And that's just the conclusion I came to because I wasn't gonna look for it. I am dehydrated. My mosque tour today was really nice. I will say the first one I went to was probably my favorite. The Manio Palace Museum. I would suggest this one. This one's really cool, really pretty, like it has the vibes. Like it's just, it's cute. It's, it's, a, it's a lot to see. I more so wanted to see like the architecture, the interior design, like that's more so what I went to see. The one that I just came from, the Mosque Madrasa of Sultan Hassan. So this one, these tickets are cool. Here's my problem. This is my problem that I, that I found. So in the first one, I guess it was more museum style. So it was really more like there's a mosque. There's like, you're seeing a palace. So there is a mosque, but there's also other rooms that's like pretty and like interactive. That I learned about some butterflies today that I'm really excited to go Google when I get to some Wi-Fi. But it was worth the 100 pounds that I paid for it. But this mosque right here, I mean, you can, why not? You're in Egypt, it's only 80 pounds. Go see it, you know, go see it, why not? It's the tip situation for me. People are sketchy, like, I wouldn't say, I mean, not everyone is, but I don't know if I told y'all the story of the guy, of the taxi driver. <sighs> I made a friend on the plane. When we landed in Egypt, um, like she was kind of confused about like the process because she checked her bags so she was kind of confused about whether she needed to go through customs then get her bags if she needed to get her bag first then go through customs or what me i'm someone i keep to myself i mind my business i keep to myself i don't go i don't get off especially in these foreign countries like i just like to feel things out for myself i don't like being here or being in different countries and people asking me as soon as I walk up to them, they haven't even, they ha they barely said hi to me and they're asking me where I'm from. I don't like that shit. And that's why I don't like telling people I'm from the States either because you tell people you're from the States and they swear you got money on you, bro. I don't like that. But anyway, like airports are fairly self-explanatory. Like you gotta leave the airport. She stops a guy and asks the guy what to do, how to do whatever. This guy took it upon himself to basically become our personal tour guide leaving the airport. He claimed to work for the government. He's like asking me all these questions. Oh, where are you staying? Oh, uh, uh, how long are you gonna be here? Da, da, da. Like a bunch of questions I don't even have the answer to. Like my parents couldn't even get, a, get this kind of answer up out of me. You know what I'm saying? Like, what do you want? I just name out a random hotel. He ends up putting me in this taxi, $20, a 20 US dollar to get from the airport to my hotel. The walk from the airport to the hotel probably would have been like an hour and 30 minutes. I like to walk from the airport to wherever my destination is because it is a great way for me to get just a brief general view of the city that I'm about to now spend the next however many days exploring. It gives me an idea of different things that might pique my interest, things that I might want to go back and look at. I like, I like to do that. I know everyone doesn't like to do that. I like to do that. But whatever, the way this guy was just like, ugh, I don't know. Like, I just, I hate that energy. And I was kind of like annoyed that he was even alerted to help us. Cause it's like, well, now we're stuck in this whatever I end up in this taxi and this guy was on scam after scam after scam he, he tried to offer me uh, a hotel rate at 25% off only was charging me damn near triple the cost triple the amount 
no damn near more than that he was charging me a lot of money he he was attempting to charge me a lot of money per night for it to be in cairo not only that but he also tried to like convince me that i should give him a hundred dollar egyptian pound tip and i was like nah i actually shouldn't because this 300 dollar ass ride is out of this world and you already know that like i knew that happened in this car that y'all was ridiculous with the price of this taxi but it's like i wanted that nigga out my face and i want you at my face as well so get me to where i need to get to and let me you know do what i need to do in regard to the mosques there was no entry fee it was literally just a mosque but i walked in they asked me where i was from i don't like that shit but i told them i was from the u.s even though i got this columbia bag on me so sometimes i'll lie and tell people i'm from columbia <laughs> it's ramadan right now in cairo so he had two jars it was like a box and then there was a like a little something like a tithe and offering type hat situation he's like this one the top one is you know for big big donations it's for big donations for allah for allah for ramadan for allah for ramadan okay and then the bottom one this is for little donations so i'm like you basically asking me for tithes and offering okay i guess it's ramadan i'll give you a little something so i gave him 10 egyptian pounds he said oh no 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 like big 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 like 100 200 like he was wanting egyptian pound okay and i'm like oh no nah, i ain't got that what is ramadan allah wouldn't do this you know shady business goes down in churches period and i don't know what it what it is about the muslim religion that kind of made me feel like it would be different or maybe just me being in a different country like i just thought that and then it's ramadan like i really didn't know what i was thinking you know maybe I didn't know what the standard was, but just the way, like the energy and the thirst, like in every mosque I've been to today, somebody has tried to get me to tip them. I went to go get my shoes out the first one. Now mind you, I paid to get in. I went to go get my shoes out of the first one. He's talking about tip. Um, shorty, if you don't hand me my motherfucking shoes, like, Bro, I'm not gonna play with these people here. Whatever, I said all that to say, one, I am very disappointed in some of these people working up in these mosques. I also feel like the Muslim religion is not any different than the Christian one in regard to like, it'd be some shady shit probably going down in their religion just like it do every other one, honestly. But you know what? It's not necessarily bad though. I wouldn't necessarily say it's a bad thing. It's more so a, a learning thing. Like if I ever thought that the next religion was maybe deeper or, you know, more spiritual or less commercial in some way, it isn't. It's all the same, you know? One of those experiences that shifts your perception of the world. And this is just where I'm sitting over here i just wanted to sit up under a, a decent tree <laughs> in some shade and just chill and drink some water when i said that i was ready to get the fuck up out of cairo the air quality like i'm sick of that shit like i want to be able to walk around and not only that but like it's just hectic i like stuff that i can walk around in and get some peace of mind and just see pretty stuff and just relax you know i really don't to be walking around and there's just cars everywhere and honking all the time and shit flying in my eyes it's like bro like uh -huh. i did not do all this to come to new york you know what i mean like there's this idea that like u.s is just better than every place else i don't even think it's that as much as it's just like u.s is just a different standard of living like our normal is just completely different from other countries normal like that's just that's what it is growing up in the states where we have traffic lights in my mind the way i just viewed it and thought it to be is that like oh people were getting in accidents all the time before there were traffic lights like and it's crazy because we have traffic lights now and <laughs> accidents still happen all the time it's happened just now i don't know how that <laughs> what can't make this shit up like these mosquitoes really be having it out for me everywhere i go oh my god i'm about to go